Hello. Name's Bruce. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> taken away and it just breaks the dad's heart he just has to go find him one day and it came to my mind like wow like jesus's love for us is like the love of marlin nemo's dad how he goes out to find us it says that jesus leaves the 99 to find the one and i just see that in this movie how he's just driven so much because of love to find his son and that, I believe, is just like God's love for us. Nemo's dad went through all these crazy things you can see in these videos here. All of the different things, and even more things he went through just to save his son. And I think that this so accurately represents God's love for us and that he went through all this stuff just to get us back. I think sometimes we forget that Jesus was sent because of God, because God so loved the world that he sent his only son. We forget that it's actually God also, also loves us. Jesus loves us, yes, but also God loves us. It even says in the Bible that Jesus didn't do anything he didn't see the Father already doing. So in Jesus' love that he expressed towards us, it's also God's love that is expressed towards us. And Jesus had to go through a lot. Jesus was on the cross. Jesus was almost killed a few different times by people. One time I told a friend this story about how this movie, this part of this movie relates to the gospel and God's love for us. And he shared that with his Bible study about this movie and how it relates to that. He said he felt God's love so tangibly. It was more than he had ever felt God's love in his life. In that moment, and to me, that's just crazy how this like worldly movie or analogy can bring so much emotion and bring so much realness to this much older story that we see of Christ. So I hope you remember that God is seeking you. He wants a relationship with you and he loves you. Remember that every single day, how much God loves you and cares for you. He's there and he wants to be everything for you. The gospel. I think a lot of times, like really big picture movies, they play on this like enemy versus hero kind of theme. And maybe you can relate that to a lot of the things in the Bible as well. Um, but usually they can't ever beat the hero story of Jesus. I mean. Who can beat the perfect man that never did anything wrong that was then saying on the cross like father forgive them i know not what they do i haven't yet seen a hero that can beat him how about you have you ever seen a hero that can beat jesus